Well, hey, Saints, it's Sister with a Testimony with Church Chat Granny, and we are in the field, and we have totally, completely watched as people go by. I mean, they are so oblivious to the presence of God. Yes. They almost wreck, okay? It's like the, the spirit of the fear of the world and man is just, you know, it's totally gripping people. Yes. The spirit of the fear of the Lord is going to come upon these people and they are going to repent. I'm going to just yeah, declare it and decree are. it. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. We need to be fearing what the Lord can do to us, yeah. not what man can do to us. The Lord said that it has been a futile attempt of man and his enemy to force his hand before it is time. He said, the time is now. The time is now. The time is now. Now check out these people that are coming by in their cars. Look at them. Look at them. They're just going by. They're going through the motions. They, they have no clue. They're seriously oblivious to what is going on around them. They're just going on about their daily business. They ain't worried about nothing. They ain't concerned. Look at look at the folks across the street. They're putting their gas in. You know, they might um, they might say something or they might wave now and then. You might have one that says something. But seriously, saints, they're not listening to what the Lord is saying. No. They are completely and totally. Look at you've got a whole line of cars coming. Sister, Sister Church Chat Granny, you got a whole line of cars coming. And they act like they are oblivious. They are just driving. They're on their cell phones. They're having their little conversations. It's all about self. It is all about self. I'm serious. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but it don't look to me like anybody in Texarkana, Arkansas is scared. You know, that might be a good thing. That might be. Well, they're just fighting at Walmart. And what? Sam. I said they're just fighting at the stores over water and toilet paper. Well, I want to ask y'all a question. Jesus. What good is your toilet paper and water going to do you when Jesus comes? That's right. Because this is not the judgment. No. Okay, the judgment has not begun yet. Mm -hmm. The judgment is coming. But the, the enemy, the... The worldwide rulers are doing this. The um, elite yeah. saints, they just want to push the panic button yeah. and see just how simple-minded people are. Well, they're trying to get the one world order. Well, the and one world is, order is coming, my dear. Oh, it is. And it's, this is they're not trying. It. The Lord is helping, helping them, them because he yeah. said... It's in the end of the book. If you guys yes. will look in the end of the book, you're going to find out. What is it called? Revelation. Are you sure it's Revelation? Yes. Well, I'm sure most people have never heard of the book of Revelation. You're afraid of it. Oh, it's just, it's not serious. It's just a bunch oh, of... Oh, they don't even what, preach it. What? Well, why? Because it, it makes people scared. The book of Revelation makes them scared? I've heard that. I think the coronavirus is making them scared. Oh, just think. And the reason that you're uncomfortable, the reason that you're scared, is because your sin has separated you, you from, from the your, Most High that's God. Right. I ain't trying to make friends. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to wake people up. up. Wake yeah, up. Believe. Yeah. Receive. Understand you have not been deceived by the Lord God Almighty. You have been deceived by yourself because your choices have gotten you into this place. I'm not talking about the person that's born again, sanctified, filled with the no. Holy Ghost and living holy and separated. No. Because you're the ones that better get up and start praying. You had better get up off your knees and get out into the highways and the byways and start compelling them to come into the house of the Lord. Your revivals aren't going to happen when you're no. stuck in your buildings and you keep praying for the Lord to show up when he's already in you. That's right. Okay, you keep running to the buildings and the buildings are not the churches. The church is right here where two or three are gathered in my name. There am I in the midst of them, says the Lord. Yes, yes. Think about 
this, saints. If the church buildings close down and you can't get to fellowship, wow, what is the Lord telling you? They're synagogues of Satan. Come out from among them because they are continuously leading the sheep to a one world religion. Wake up. I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to coddle you. And I'm not here to enable you. Wake up. It is March the 14th, 2020. And people are losing their ever-loving minds. Not because they're ever-loving, but because they're ever-deceived. Exactly. And people don't want to hear the truth. No. They want to hear what they want to hear. Bring your money to the storehouse. Bring your tithe so we can keep the church going and pay the bills. Even though we cannot meet, we can streamline. But keep your father's house going because it needs to pay its utility bills. What father? Oh. What father? The father said my house will be a house of of prayer. prayer. Yes. Okay, the true followers Mm -hmm. are not afraid that their building burned down, shut down, or shut up. And they're not worried about Mm -hmm. the light bill being paid. They're not worried about the water bill. And they're not worried about the live streaming because the true followers are coming out from among them. Yes. You can wear your little tight clothes. You can wear your heels and your long eyelashes. You can get your little self right up there on that worship, um, what do you call it, stage. And you can do whatever you want to. You can cry. You can have have your yoga pants Pants on. on. You can have your tight jeans on. Mm -hmm. You can get up there and worship and you're calling it in spirit and in truth. But let me ask you this. Where are you going to worship when that's gone? When the buildings are not, not being, being open, open because of a plague. Ah! Oh, the government. They're they're honor they're doing they're what? They're doing what President Trump said. President Trump said that the church needs to shut down. Nobody can gather with 200, uh, two, where two want to watch me. Mm-hmm. Okay. The true followers of Yahushua are going to gather They're together gather. to fellowship. Right. They are not scared of no. a virus or a germ because no. there's power in the blood. There. Power there. in the blood. Come on now. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Yeah. Do you get, are you okay with being on film? You don't okay. care or you don't want to be? What did you say? Did you hear the voice of the Lord? Yes, I did. And what did he say? What's your name, brother? My name Kip Gaither. Kip, it's yes, good to meet you. I'm Leslie. This is Miss Janetta. I'm in there. Okay. Wait a minute. You were down at the. Yeah, with him. The other, uh, the other day. Okay. Yes, you have yeah. a hoodie on. Yeah. Yeah. We don't recognize you. All right, you're Kip. That was last Sunday. So do you live around here, Kip? What's your testimony today, Kip? Good. Can you give God some glory? No, I need prayer. All right, well, we're here to pray. My little niece died. Died? Yeah, somebody killed my little niece. Well, I'm so sorry. Well, we're going to pray for you right now. Hold on. We're going to pray for Kip. So y'all have a blessed day. Come out from among them. It's Sister with a Testimony and Church Chat Granny. We're in the field. We're praying for Brother Kip. Y'all pray for Brother Kip. His little niece has been killed. And this is the time that we need to come together and pray for one another and love one another. We are the church, not the buildings. Come out from among them. Be ye separate. Where two or three are gathered into my name. It doesn't matter. You can't get to the stage now to worship him. So we're going to have to worship him in spirit and in truth. In Yahushua's name, amen.